Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing good. And today we are going to know about the father of mathematics and its branches. So let's start. So, do you know who is the father of mathematics? So, the father of mathematics is Archimedes. Archimedes is known as the father of mathematics. He lived between 287 BC to 212 BC. Cyclus, the Greek island of Sicily, was his birthplace. He found out inventions like buoyancy, estimated it would take 8 to the power 1063 grains of sand to cover the universe and he also found the odometer. Now we will see the father of algebra. Father of algebra is Al-Khwarizmi. Al-Khwarizmi was a Persian polymath who produced vastly influential works in mathematics, astronomy and geography. Around 820 CE, he was appointed as an astronomer and head of the library of the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. Al-Khwarizmi popularizing treatise on algebra, the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing, which presented the first systematic solution of linear and quadratic equations. Now, the father of arithmetics. The father of arithmetics is Brahmagupta. And Brahmagupta was an Indian mathematician and astronomer. Brahmagupta was the first to give rules to compute with zero. The text composed by Brahmagupta were an elliptic verse in Sanskrit was a, as was common practice in Indian mathematics. As no proof are given, it is not known how Brahmagupta's results were derived. Father of Geometry The father of geometry is Euclid. Euclid was a Greek mathematician, often referred to as the founder of geometry or the father of geometry. He founded Euclidean geometry, Euclidean elements, Euclidean algorithm list of topics named after Euclid. Now, do you know who is the father of menstruation? The father of menstruation is Leonard Dix. Leonard Dix was a well-known English mathematician and surveyor credited with the invention of pseudolite and great popularizer of science through his writing in English on surveying, cartography, and military engineering. And do you know the father of trigonometry? And if no, Hippocrates of Nikea was the father of trigonometry. Hippocrates of Nikea was a Greek astronomer, geographer, and mathematician. He is considered the founder of trigonometry but is most famous for his incidental discovery of precision of equinoxes. Now, the father of number theory. The father of number theory is Pythagoras of Samos. Pythagoras of Samos was an ancient Iron and Greek philosopher and the eponymous founder of Pythagoreanism. His political and religious teachings were well known in Magna Gratia and influenced the philosophies of Plato, Aristotle and through them the Western philosophy. Father of coordinate geometry. Now, the father of coordinate geometry, the invention of Cartesian coordinates in the 17th century by Rand Descartes revolutionized mathematics by providing the first systematic link between Euclidean geometry and algebra. Now, the father of modern statistics. Then, who is it? Sir Ronald Alma Fisher was a British statistician, genetic, and professor. For his work in statistics, he has been described as a genius who almost single-handedly created the foundations for modern statistical science and the single most important figure in 20th century statistics. Now the father probability. The father probability. While contemplating a gambling problem posed by Clavier de Mer in 1656, Blaise Pascal and Pierre de Fermat laid the fundamental groundwork of probability theory and were thereby accredited the father of probability. Now, so, do you know who is the father of operational research? Philip, Philip M. Cord Moss was an American physicist, administrator and pioneer of operations research in World War II. He is considered to be the father of operations research in U.S. Father of calculus. English scientist Isaac Newton 
and German philosopher Gottfried Leibniz both claimed credit for inventing the mathematical system of calculus sometime around the end of 17th century. For the vector calculus, vector calculus had developed a quadrant analysis by Willard Gibbs and Oliver Heaviside near the end of 19th century. So that is all for today and if you like the video please like, share and subscribe to my channel and I will meet you guys in the next video very soon and till then bye and thanks for watching.